In this section, we're going to be connecting to our database and start working with some actual data for our application. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is connect to our Mongo database from our server. So first open a new terminal window and run npm install mongoose. That's the package that we're going to be using to interact with the database. Then go over to your config file and environment file, and let's set a URL for our database. So right underneath this variable, go ahead and assign a DB URL variable. And so for a Mongo database, it's going to be mongo colon slash slash localhost. And then the port that you're listening on. And then followed by the database name. Now you should have an instance of MongoDB running. And if you look right here, it tells you that I'm listening on port 27017. That's the default port when you run it. So you want to make sure that matches, otherwise you won't be able to connect. And then your database name can be anything. I'm just going to name mine ViewDB. Then we want to copy that and do the same thing for production. And if you have a production database, that's where you would put that here. I don't, so I'll just use production-db. And then let's create a new file called db.js, which actually controls the connection. So first import the package we installed, Mongoose. And I'm going to export a function here called connect to DB. So you want to say mongoose.connect. And you want to pass in the URL that you want to connect to. And then we'll follow that with options. And set the option use new URL parser to true. And so if we have an error, we'll just say something like cannot connect. And then we actually want to throw that error because that'll crash the app since nothing's really going to work without a database connection. Else we'll just log a message so that we know we connected. So then you want to go over to the index.js file. And let's go ahead and import that connection method. And so we'll connect to the database after we set all the environment variables. So call that right here. Then your server should automatically restart and you should see that connected to MongoDB message.